have you been paying attention to this new uh, leader of Italy, the woman? Yeah, I saw um, I saw her the speech that everybody's flipping out about. And I, I've been following a bit about it. It is very interesting. Yeah. This, it's, this is what's fascinating. There's two groups of people that I follow, and their reactions to it are so hyper different. <laughs> there's like the right wing people like "fuck yeah, Italy," and then there's the left wing people like the far right you know, new leader, like this is dangerous, a fascist, fascist, right. fascist rhetoric and connected to fascism. They've and really overplayed right that and... fascist uh, hand because, you know, if she, if that's what they're saying, this, um, the Brothers of Italy or something, I think is her political party. Mm. And they're saying that they represent some, some neo, you know, Mussolini movement or something like that. I don't, you know, I don't know, but I do think that, like, I don't know what you think about it, but I thought, what she said in that speech, I got it, and I get why it's appealing, and I don't think there was anything, at least in what, well, what she said she in that. What did she say? Can we read what she said? Because she said it in Italian. Yeah, well, I'm okay, that's uh, also true. I'm just assuming that the words on the bottom of the screen when she were talking was actually what she was saying. <laughs> it's like I those not Hitler know. memes. Yeah. You ever see that one when it's like, uh, yeah. you know, I can't believe Dunkin' Donuts is having a sale, and it's like Hitler screaming. <laughs> What is uh, those fucking memes are so funny, man? When they do that over the hill, it would be so funny if I'm just saying all this stuff and I just read the wrong translation. Where I was like, I don't know, she just said like family and Christianity is fine, and then they're like, what she actually said was we need to round up the Jews, and be like, oh, okay, I am not for that. Then, it, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on record and change my opinion. I didn't like that. But it'll part. be too late because I already have you. Yeah, that's but Dave you're right. Smith I is all for rounding up the Jews. It's <laughs> goes, written down. She goes, but I'm a Jew. You go. He wants to round up himself. This is <laughs> it's self hate. <laughs> He's an Uncle Howie. <laughs> what is the... Uh... So I was trying to read if... I mean, I, I'm assuming she said it in Italian, so I, now I'm assuming she did. that well, this she, is she also translated spoke, into right. English. She spoke at CPAC and so had I'm a speech in English. Trying to assume this is what she said, but I don't know. I uh, she said if this is... Uh, we're assuming this is the translation is correct. Uh, if we are called to govern this nation, we will do it for everyone. We will do it for all Italians, and we will do it with the aim of uniting the people of this country, Maloney said at her party's Rome headquarters. Italy chose us, she said. We will not betray the country as we never have. Uh, as polls in the run-up to Sunday's vote showed her as likely winner, Malori has moderated her far-right message in an apparent attempt to reassure the European Union and other international partners. This is a time for being responsible, Maloney said appearing live on television, describing the situation for Italy and the European Union as particularly complex. Maloney, who campaigned on a motto of God, country, and family, said the result was only a beginning. This is a night of pride for brothers of Italy, but is a starting point, not a finish line, she was quoted as saying by The Guardian. Yeah, well, but he already that... Um... Just, just at that point of because they're saying like, well, she campaigned on God, country, and family, yeah. and I understand. I, I can understand. Um, so I grew up in a very liberal, you know, area, and I, I understand where like a lot of people on the left don't like the idea of of a uh, political leader campaigning on God, yeah. uh, nation, and family. Like they're like, hey, this should somehow like government should be neutral on yeah. those issues or something like that, but. You know, at least I would think, like, if you're, like, a, a liberal or a leftist or something, at least, I, like, understand, like, why do you think it is that that message is so appealing to so many people? And you have to almost objectively say that, like, look, those things are things that a lot of people care about. You know, like, just just in the, the 20th century alone, how many people were willing to go and fight in wars for under the banner of nationalism, like, for their country, you know? Yeah. And, like, people care about their country. And obviously people care about their God a lot. And obviously people care about their family a lot. And what I saw of her, assuming the translation was correct, in her speech was she was saying that these things are constantly under attack right now. And there's no need, like we don't have to live in a, in a society where like uh, Christianity and patriotism and family is constantly being demonized. Like all of the things that we like to identify as are constantly being demonized. And I would at least like say to like left wingers, you know, if you keep up this game of like demonizing all of those things, there's going to be a right wing response to it. People are going to rally around the political leaders who are like saying like, no, we're for traditional families and Christianity and national greatness. And I'm not even saying I'm for that. 
but I get the appeal of it. Yeah, but not even saying traditional family, just family, period. Yeah. I mean, it's not.